With the help of vectors, show that the line segment joining the midpoints of the diagonals of a trapezium is parallel to the parallel sides and half the difference. Okay, let us begin. First, let's try to understand the problem graphically. Now we have a trapezium with vertices A, B, C and D. So AB is parallel to the side CD, so they are the two opposite parallel sides. And here, E and F are the midpoints of the diagonals AC and BD respectively of the trapezium. Now when we join E and F, uh, we need to show that this EF is parallel to AB as well as DC. So our goal will be to prove the line segment formed by joining the midpoints of the diagonals of the trapezium is parallel to uh, BA as well as it's parallel to CD. And we'll also need to show that EF is equals to half of the difference between CD and AB. So assuming CD is uh, larger than uh, BA. So here we'll consider BA instead of AB. However, in the problem, it's uh, been asked to prove this with the help of vector. So we will show that EF vector is parallel to BA vector, which is parallel to CD vector, and EF vector will be equals to half of CD vector minus BA vector. So let us begin. So what we'll do, we'll begin by considering a point O, which is going to be the origin of some coordinate system. Now, with respect to this origin, we can define the position vector of each of the vertices. So let's say the position vector of the vertex A is defined by the vector A. Then B vector is going to represent the position vector of B. C vector is going to represent the position vector of C. And D vector represents the position vector of D. That means here we have we are assuming that let OA vector and that corresponds to the vector A. OB vector corresponds to the vector B. OC vector corresponds to the vector C. And OD vector corresponds to the vector D. Fine. We can also define the position vector of point E and F. So we'll start by defining the position vector of E. So E here divides the diagonal AC of the trapezium in the ratio 1 is to 1 internally. Now that means we can apply the internal section formula. So this implies OE vector will be equals to, we'll take A vector, add it to C vector and divide it by 2. Let's label this as number 1. Similarly, F divides BD in a ratio 1 is to 1. So we can also define the position vector of point F with respect to the position vector B and D. Now, we know for a fact that AB is parallel to CD. So it's a, it's a known fact because it's a trapezium. We have AB, so let's consider it to be a vector AB. So we have AB vector parallel to the vector DC. So we're considering AB vector parallel to DC vector, both are in the same direction. This implies that AV vector must be equals to some scalar lambda times DC vector. Or we can say that DC vector equals mu times where uh, mu times uh, the vector AB where lambda and mu are some scalar. So let's note that down where lambda and mu are scalars. Fine. Now we'll use the fact that AB vector equals lambda C vector. So that means if we express AB vector in terms of the position vector, we have OB vector minus OA vector. This will be equals to lambda times OC vector minus OD vector. Now OB vector, we have already defined that's the vector B and OA vector, that's the vector A. So B vector minus A vector equals to lambda times. So OC will be C vector minus OD, that will be D vector. Similarly for DC vector equals to mu times AB vector. So we can here express in terms of the position vector as C vector minus D vector equals mu times B vector minus A vector. Fine, we're going to use this fact. Now, we will use, uh, now we'll try to find out the vector EF. So EF vector is simply OF vector minus OE vector. So we have OF vector, we've already obtained that in number two. So that's going to be B vector plus D vector divided by two minus OE vector. So OE vector is A vector plus C vector divided by two. Fine. So this will be equals to, uh, let's take half as the common factor. So we have half multiplied to B vector plus D vector. But what we'll do, we'll take B vector minus A vector and add it to D vector minus C vector. 
okay now here okay let's label this b minus b vector equals to lambda times c minus d as three and this is number four fine so this will be ef vector so if we use number three if we use number three then ef vector is going to be equals to lambda plus one over two whole multiplied to um c vector minus d vector all we have done is replace b vector minus a vector with lambda times c vector minus d vector so we can factor out c vector minus d vector from both of these two terms that will leave us with lambda plus one over two fine and if we use number four then in that case ef vector this is going to give us the ef vector we will get mu minus one divided by two multiplied to a b vector minus a vector so here we're getting mu minus one because in here we have d vector minus c vector but in number four we have c vector minus d vector so we can multiply both sides with negative one to get d vector minus c vector now in either of the two case what we're getting here that is ef vector equals some constant or some scalar which is lambda plus one over two multiplied to c vector minus d vector so we can consider it to be let's call lambda plus one over two as alpha so we have alpha times now c vector minus d vector that's the vector d c and here ef vector will be equals to some scalar which is mu minus one over two and we can uh, represent mu minus one over two with beta so we have beta times b vector minus a vector so that's going to be a b vector so here we have used the fact so let's note that down so where lambda plus one over two that's equals to alpha and mu minus one over two this is equals to beta now in either of the two case so we can say that ef vector so that's parallel to the vector dc and from this we can say that ef vector is parallel to the vector a b so when we combine both of them this implies that our ef vector which is formed by joining the midpoints of the diagonals of the trapezium so that's going to be parallel to the parallel side that means parallel to ab as well as dc so the first part of the proof is done now again using uh, let's call this equation number five fine now from equation number five equation number five we have represented if f vector as half multiplied to b vector minus a vector so b vector minus a vector now we have plus d vector minus c vector so let's represent it as negative times c vector minus d c vector and this will be equals to half we have b vector minus a vector so that's going to be a v vector minus c vector minus d vector so that's d c vector now let's go to our figure so here we according to this relation we have ef vector that means a vector going from e to f this is equals to we have av half of av vector minus dc vector but we already assumed that dc is going to be greater than ab this is an assumption so what we'll do we can rewrite it as so here we have if we take negative as the common vector so we have negative half times we have dc vector minus ab vector now we have ef vector equals to negative half of dc vector minus ab vector so let's take the negative to the left hand side we have negative ef vector equals to half of dc vector minus ab vector now negative ef vector is same as fe vector that means we have a vector going from f to e so we have fe vector equals to half dc vector minus ab vector so we have successfully showed that this is the vector going from f to e this is equals to half the difference between the two parallel sides so this proves the second part as well hence we have successfully proved that the line segment joining the midpoints of the diagonals of a trapezium is parallel to the parallel side and it's going to be half the differences